Well, we all know it. We live in the province with the highest taxes. And now a new study that says Quebec tax burdens has reached the tipping point. It's undermining the growth of the economy, not to mention what it's doing to our disposable income. Yuri Shassen is with the Montreal Economic Institute, and he's also one of the authors of the study. And thank you for coming in. Um, you know, I, I know that at first I wanted to ask, you know, how high is it compared to other provinces? But that's very difficult to say, obviously, because it exactly. depends on what the income rates are. And, yeah. Exactly. For your situation, yeah. for uh, your income. Uh, yeah, so obviously, if you're, for example, if you're a single, uh, high income earner with no kids, you're going to pay a lot. Uh, so this is. Uh, so let's just suffice it to say exactly. we just pay a lot. Absolutely. And, <laughs> okay. and overall, on the GDP, we know that the, the, the tax burden is higher in Quebec. Okay, so how, what is the effect then? So we have a very high tax burden, and you say it's reached that point where it's having a negative impact on the Quebec economy. Mm -hmm. How does that work? How does that relation work? We know that it has an impact on the economy and it always had, but uh, basically because it discouraged, for example, work or investment, uh, basically the news now is that for the first time in 17 years, it has reduced our disposable income. Uh, basically, when we see in our paychecks every two weeks our gross incomes and all those uh, payroll taxes and income tax that are deduced at the source, what we still have, what is uh, is on actually in our pockets at the end is our disposable income. So, so are you saying that even if, let's say, you get an annual increase uh, pegged to inflation, mm -hmm. because of the growing tax rate, you're still getting less, you're not keeping up, is that what you're saying? Exactly. So the fiscal burden has been raised by the government in the last years because they want to get back to a zero deficit, which is justified, but they rely more on a higher tax burden. And now it has increased so much that in 2013, for the first time, uh, it has diminished, actually, our, our disposable income. Obviously, it's a mean, but uh, some, some people still have higher incomes, but it's quite... Uh, it's a warning. It's kind of a tipping point. We don't have any more latitude or possibility to grow our tax burden. And why, why is that a warning? What are, what, what are the consequences if we leave this alone and let this go as is? So in our publication, we've looked at the trend, the general trend of the economy for the last 10 years. And uh, basically, the Quebec's economy I have been growing at a 3.4% rate, where the rest of Canada, the mean of Canada, is 4.3%. Not even a one point of percentage of difference. So it doesn't seem that much, but over 10 years, it is. Basically, we miss $32 billion in our GDP because of that. If we would have, uh, if we, we had the same rate, the same growth rate of Canada, we would have a better GDP and each of us, each Quebecer would have an available disposable income uh, with an additional 16, almost $1,700 per year, uh, which is kind of... Yeah, that's significant, and yeah. And, but, and when you're talking about the, the, the GDP getting smaller, the GDP basically we're talking about the actual size of the economy, right? Exactly. It's getting smaller. All we produce yeah. in Quebec. Yeah. And, and this illustrates the importance of having a good uh, economic policy and not so much relying on tax burden. Okay. So I hope you're optimistic, though, with the new budget, very quickly, very, very quickly. Yeah, well, I yeah? think that the, the government is heading in the right direction. Okay. Well, I wanted to stop. <laughs> I wanted to end with at least Hopefully. a positive note. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming in. We'll be right back.